This is how you can make your discord.js version 14 bot type within a channel. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On Discord, if you get the god or custom bot here, you will get access to that source code. And over on YouTube here, if you get the super god or custom bot here, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the custom bot here, my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go ahead and get into the video. So we're going to go ahead and make the channel typing a function that you can access anywhere so you don't actually have to type it out uh, when you want to make it happen. So to do that, we're going to go over to our SRC and we're going to go ahead and create functions.js. In here, we can go ahead and start by exporting a function that we can access anywhere within our project. So we can do module.exports, we can do .start typing, and we can do async function, and we're going to go ahead and pass in a parameter as channel, and we can open that up. You can call this whatever you want. Obviously, I'm going to do start typing because that's what the function is about. Now, unfortunately, there is no way to actually stop typing, and I'll explain that in a little bit. So we can do await channel.send typing and we're going to go ahead and finish that off so that's as simple as it is it already has a function which is send typing but this way we can do this anywhere using one function so we've created our function here we've used our channel which is going to be provided within the function in the actual code or the command and now we have it here so we're going to go ahead and actually use this function so we can go over to community and we can do test type.js we're just going to go ahead and create our basic command so we can do const we're going to get our slash command builder and then we can do equals require. We're going to go ahead and get discord.js. Then we can do module.exports. We're going to go ahead and open this up and get our data, which is going to be our new slash command builder. We're going to go ahead and set a name. This is going to be typing test. And we can go ahead and say description. We can go ahead and say make the bot type in this channel. And then we can go ahead and just add a comma. We're going to continue to create our command. So we can do our async executes. And we're going to go ahead and run our interaction. And we can go ahead and open this up. So it's very, very simple. All we have to do is actually require this function at the top of the file. So we can do const and we can require our function. So it's going to be start typing. And then we do equals require. And we're going to go ahead and do dot dot slash dot dot slash. We can go ahead and get our functions folder or our functions file. So we're going to go ahead and require the function that we created in this file here. And now we can just go ahead and run it. So we can run our start typing. And we're going to go ahead and pass in our interaction.channel. So now this code, once we run it, is going to run our function that we created here. So it's going to take the channel that we pass in here, and it's going to go ahead and send a start typing or a send typing to that channel, meaning the bot will continue to type or start typing within the channel. It's very, very easy to actually stop typing. All you have to do is send a message within the channel. I'm not sure if it works on a reply, um, but I, I know it works for just sending a normal message. Um, and it also will stop after 10 seconds. So we can just go ahead and send a message. So we can do await interaction that channel that send. We can do content and we can just go ahead and say stop typing. And we're going to go ahead and send this after a timeout. So we can go ahead and set a timeout. We're going to make an async function in here as well. And we can just go ahead and stop this after five seconds. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. So now we can actually go ahead and run this code to test this out. And then we'll come back here and remove this part of it. So you can see how long it's going to type on its own. All right. So over in the discord server, we can actually go ahead and run this. So it's going to be typing test and we can just go ahead and click enter here. As you can see, the interaction is going to continue and it's going to fail and it's going to go ahead and actually start typing. So after five seconds, it's going to stop typing here, as you can see, and ESCII is no longer typing. We can go ahead and run this again just for a visual reference. And as you can see, it's going to go ahead and start typing here. And then after five seconds, you can count it if you want. It will stop typing just like that. So instead of removing it, like I said, I'm actually going to go ahead and try to reply. So we can say content and we can say stop typing. And the last thing we actually have to do is we're going to make this two seconds so the interaction doesn't fail. So now we can actually go ahead and test this out. All right, so I've gone ahead and cleared the channel just to make this a little bit easier to see. So now we can go ahead and run typing test here. As you can see, it's going to go ahead and start typing. And as soon as I edited in that reply, it actually went ahead and stopped. So now I'm just going to go ahead and completely remove this. And we're going to go ahead and let it run and just see how long it goes. All right, so back in the server, we can go ahead and run typing test. And we're going to go ahead and send it here. And as you can see, it's going to go ahead and start typing. Now it's going to run because we have no reply. So it's going to run for quite some time, about 10 seconds, and then it will go away. So after 10 seconds is up, it will no longer be typing anymore. Now, the reason why we actually made this a function here that we can call anywhere is because it's a lot easier to do this 
uh, instead of actually writing it in. Now, I know that doesn't make much sense because you could do await interaction.channel.send typing and it would technically do the same thing. But this way, we can access it anywhere and it's very easy to do. So we would just have to call it, we would have to call our function and then we would be able to put it in here and then we could do a client on on events and we can do events.message create and then all we would have to do is require that function now the other reason is let's say you want to make more functions in here let's say you wanted to do a module that exports and you wanted to make an embed where you can pass in different embed values and create your embed and send your embed so that you don't actually have to make a new embed every single time uh, you make a command or send a message so then you could access it in here and then while you're requiring the embed function in here you could also start typing so not only does it make it easier to call but it also makes it more compatible with other features that you could make as functions for your code that's you can make your discord bot type within a channel if you do need any help with this go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be happy to help you out and you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community and with that i'll see you guys in the next video